Today's episode is all about thrips. If you look closely, you can see these little tiny bugs all over the place. These are thrips. If we zoom in, you can see one having a delicious meal all while killing your plant. If you're here, you probably have some thrips in your garden and would like them to go away. Luckily, this is easy to do since thrips are a common pest. There are over 6,000 varieties of thrips and they can reproduce asexually, so once they've shown up, they most certainly won't leave without some intervention. Some are darker in color and some are lighter. They're slender and really tiny at 1 25th of an inch. These are adults, which in this variety are darker colored. The larvae, which are babies, are usually found underneath the leaves and appear white to the naked eye. When you zoom into the larva, you can see that they're super active when eating, but they also like to chill out and take naps. Thrips feed on plants by scraping them and sucking up the juice. We spotted thrips on these plants and decided to let them take over just to make this video and to show off what kind of damage they can do. Thrips aren't a serious threat to cannabis plants unless they aren't dealt with. The classic thrip damage is spots that look exactly like this. The leaves can turn silvery and splotchy before dying. Overall, they can make quick work of killing your plants if you don't do anything about them. So how should we intervene? Spinosad is one of the most effective insecticides for controlling thrips. This one requires a little under four mils per 16 ounces of water. The most important part about applying Spinosad is to spray the tops and the bottoms of the leaves. The bottoms are a little trickier to get to. A good tip is to lean the plant over so it's easier to spray the bottoms. After you're done spraying, you should have a healthy coating to make sure the spinosad makes it to every thrip and larva. It's important to reapply spinosad every five to seven days, and remember that these treatments are never immediate. Spinosad attacks the nervous system and always takes multiple applications before it starts to work. Thanks so much for checking out this episode of Higher Education. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you on the next episode.